Hey there guys and welcome inside the arcade. Now today I'm going to be showing you the tutorial video on how to set up your Arduino, which is the hardware that we're going to be using on most of our projects on this channel. So if you find this tutorial helpful and if you use it towards your own arcade machines, please give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel as more videos will be uploaded and you'll be able to create more and more projects. So the Arduino is an input-output board microprocessor and it allows us to translate physical actions into digital actions. So for example, we can turn on an LED with a push of a button. Or more complex, we could tell it to turn on the LED after we've pushed the button three times. We're going to be using the Arduino for things like coin input, ticket output and reading the variables that happen within the game. The Arduino comes with a standard 5 volt or 3.5 volt output, which is useful for things like LEDs and sensor pins. Making an arcade machine without an Arduino would be very hard indeed. Now don't get discouraged because the code that we're going to be using is going to be within the description, not in this description because this is just the tutorial video on how to get set up. However, as we release more projects, the code that we'll be using will be in the description of the video itself. And it's just a case of copying and pasting it within the Arduino environment. Now with the Arduino, we're going to need jumper pins. And these are just standard pins that go within the little notches on the Arduino. And we're able to identify which peripheral is which by the pin output that the Arduino has. So for example, I could stick an LED in pin output eight, and within the code environment, I will always know that pin eight is that specific LED. And the same goes for buttons and anything else that we're gonna be reading with the Arduino. So to set up your Arduino is a relatively simple process. You're gonna to want to go to the Arduino website. This is the Arduino website here. And as you can see, it has the download link within there. You'll want to head to the software section at the top that's highlighted in orange and click on downloads and then select your operating system that you're using in order to download the correct version of Arduino IDE. You want to go through the standard installation process. There's nothing that you need to do at this point. So just go through the installation and once it's installed, you can open up the Arduino IDE, which looks like this. So this is what we call a sketch and inside the sketch we have the void setup which is basically for telling the Arduino which output pins are controlling which peripherals. So for example I would be putting pin 8 as LED1 like I described earlier in the void setup area and then we move on to the void loop which is basically what the sketch actually does. So within the loop itself, it goes around multiple times per second and is constantly looking for changes in values and acting appropriately. Now I'm not going to go into any details on how to write a sketch on this video. However, once we are within the Arduino IDE, there are a few things that we need to do in order to set up the Arduino ready to go. So if you did purchase an official Arduino, which I would highly recommend, it would most likely have come with a USB cable, which is a USB A to B. And obviously it's quite as easy as it seems. You put your USB cable in there and then you plug the other end of the USB into your computer. So once you've plugged it in, the Arduino will light up and we'll know now that the Arduino is actually communicating to the computer. We just need to make sure that the port is correct. So we want to gonna head up to tools and board and make sure that Arduino Uno or whichever board that you've purchased is selected. I would recommend an Arduino Uno for now as it is the most common board available and all the libraries work with it and it is an all round very good board to use. And we're gonna to wanna to make sure that the port is the right port available. So we want to highlight port here and just move over and you should see that the port selected should have Arduino Uno in brackets. So click that to double check that that is the port that we're using. So now, as you can see down the bottom here, Arduino Uno is on the correct port and it has registered. We're not gonna to wanna to use anything else on this for the time being. Now, as you can see, there are two LEDs lit up on the board here. 
and all we're going to do now is make sure that the board is connected and is able to receive the sketch that we are writing. So if we push the reset button on here, you'll see the orange light flickers off and then back on again. Now within our Arduino sketch, we're going to want to click upload, which will upload the sketch to the Arduino. So down the bottom, it then comes up with text just saying how many bytes it's used. And if it's all in white, then it's generally uploaded your sketch to your Arduino and is now saved. You'll also notice that when we do upload the sketch, the lights flicker. So we know that the communication is definitely okay. So this is the basic tutorial for setting up your Arduino. There will be more tutorials coming online in terms of how to use your Arduino for whatever purpose you need. If you have any questions at all, stick them down in the comment section. And again, please remember to like the video and subscribe. And I'll see you all again next time inside the arcade. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.